I've been using my 24 to 70 for everything to do my YouTube videos, personal photography, work related video stuff, everything. I just, that's my go to lens. But you cannot, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot shoot everything and expect to get different results, different looks, different views, different point of views, okay, with the same lens. You just can't. And as much as I love the lens, I need to try something different. And this is what I'm doing. This is what this video is truly about. And I'm switching lenses and shooting at different frame rates and see how and why and what will happen and how it would work for me. We are shooting with the <clears throat> Sigma 20 millimeter 1.4, which is great. Um, as you can see, pretty sharp. It follows me pretty well. As you can see here, boom. Okay, focus on my hand. There it is. Okay, now let's move. Uh, oh, it picked up. It picked up. Ooh. Man, I look sharp as hell. And look at that background. Now, let's bring, I think that's a 1.4. That's why everything is so blurry back there, which is lovely. So let's bring this up. Uh, let's bring it to 1.8. It's gonna go a little darker. That's fine. That's why we have the aperture light, which is gonna go whoop, whoop. Sorry, I'm looking to the side here. I have my screen here uh, and I'm controlling the whole thing. This is how I'm able to test everything that we are doing here. If not, uh, this mic is not cooperating today. Perfect. Now, let's that was very irresponsible. I should have not done that. Just go do that let's uh try the 16 to 35 we're gonna throw it on there let's put it to the test now this is the 16 to 35 2.8 now uh this lens is pretty good but as you can see because the f-stop is a little bit higher 2.8 uh i have to crank up my light because now i'm a little bit too dark and I need to brighten up my video. It's a pretty decent lens, it's good. I just think the Sigma might be just a little bit sharp and that's because obviously it has no moving parts inside. I'm gonna have to crank up my light just a little bit to balance out, to compensate for the lack of light. Uh, <clears throat> and that looks a little bit better there. As you can see, it's pretty good with the following. It doesn't lag like the other one. Look at that. It follows me pretty well. Well, that's because it's a Canon lens. You know, Canon and Canon. Obviously, they work better together. And I'm shooting at, at 4K uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, I'm going to turn that down to 24 right now and see how that looks. Obviously, uh, at 60 frames per second, you're a lot sharper, you're a lot clearer, and uh, everything is going to look sharp. Right? We're going to try 24 frames per second and see how that goes, and we're going to use both lenses to see and this is pretty good as you can see it's following me around pretty well i don't know this is supposed to be wider 
than the 20 millimeter over there. But I don't know why, but that 20 millimeter just give me a, 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 a huge, I think it's wider if you ask me. Um, that's just my perspective. That's what I noticed. Great feature that I love about this lens is that you can zoom in and zoom out. You know, you can't do that with, with, with the Sigma lens. You would have to, because it's a prime, obviously, you gotta move the, the, the whole rig and, and that's a bit uncomfortable. It moves really fast. I mean, look at that. It's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. look at that. <laughs> Holy sh that's fast. Unbelievable. Uh, they're both good lenses, man. I, I gotta I gotta say that is amazing. <laughs> Let's switch over to uh, the Sigma lens, 20 millimeter, and shoot at 24 frame per second. And just to see, just you know, to get a different vibe, because obviously everything is sharp at 60 frame per second. That's cheating. Let's bring it down to real cinematic look. We're gonna drop the lights. We're gonna dim everything. Make it look super, super, super Hollywood. Right now we are shooting with the Sigma 20 to 20 millimeter 1.4. And the cool thing about this lens is that it's sharp as hell. And I can really blur that background. Like I can, I can just make it melt back there like I can melt if I it. want more depth of field all I have to do is back away from my background okay separation from the background guys and I have no backlight I have no drop light no nothing right now look at that bokeh back there look at that thing it's just melting like you can't even see the plane look at the plane my little plane uh, turn this way you see that little plane let's focus on him let's give him some focus look at that there he's in focus now that's my baby I love him. He's on the other side right here. Let's focus on him. Boom. You see this guy? He's a beast. Okay? Don't play around with the Mavic Pro 2. Mavic Pro 2 is no joke. I tell you. And then I have my GoPros up here. You see them? That's pretty cool stuff. Willie, you're so cool. You know what's funny? The other day, I'm talking to my mom. And I'm like, Mom, you know, I started my YouTube channel. Have you seen any of my videos? Let me send you one. And... She comes back and says, wow, Willie, your face is so round. You need to lose some weight, my boy. You are just focusing on my round face. I know I've put on a little bit of weight, but damn, cut me some slack. Hey, give me some props, at least congratulating. Whoa, give me something. Now you're fat, go work out. Go, go to the gym. One of these days, I'm going to surprise you and you're going to be blown away when your son walks in abs shredded like a complete different man. How about that? Not gonna happen anytime soon. Guys, <clears throat> testing out the lens so far so good. Let's see something here. Cause one thing I like about the other lens, the Canon 16 to 35 is that it's really quick with the autofocus. And let's check this out. Woo. You see how it lags a little bit? You see that? It doesn't follow me. It's lagging and it's not even in focus. Now it's focusing. That's a problem. Mm -mm. The Canon is definitely, definitely, definitely better at the autofocus part. Okay, the two point focus thing is not working with this lens, no. For the price, it's good. I love it, I think it's sharp, I think it does a lot. You can get really creative with this lens. There's a little delay there, you can see it, look. There's a delay. All right guys, so here we are again with uh, 16, to uh, 16 to 35 millimeter. Uh, why my accent always gets in the way of things. The 16 to 35 mil and the uh, 2.8 f-stop, I think uh, it looks pretty darn good. That's what I think. We are now shooting at 24 frames per second. Um, 
Obviously earlier we were shooting at 60, which everything is a lot sharper, a lot clearer, and uh, we wanna see what the 24 frame per second look like with this lens. Uh, and again, we are testing different lenses here to see which one I'm gonna go with uh, for this channel. Moving forward, shoot all of my videos with that lens. I'm trying to pick between the Canon 16 to 35 uh, 2.8, uh, Mark II and uh, between uh, also, well, why, why can't I talk today? My gosh, this is terrible. And the Sigma 20 millimeter 1.4. Okay, super wide angle, super sharp, super clear, and it gives you that depth of feel that um, it's unreal. I mean, it's 1.4, so. There you have it. I did promise you guys some cinematography. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, oh, wrong remote. All right, I think this is the right one. Let's knock. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Look at that red. Oh, it matches my shirt. This is awesome. I love it. See, this is what I love about these gadgets, man. You just can't have enough of them. Uh, look at that red. Ooh, I think that looks pretty sexy. It just compliments my skin too, look at that. Sorry guys, I keep looking down at the screen cause I, you guys can see me, but I can't see me. I gotta look this way so I can see myself. So, uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's the Mark III, L3, and I was saying two. Is it two or three? Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I was reading that little thing above the lens that says, you know, have that info. Oh, let's keep the preset. I work hard to get that preset on there. Guys, my take is, I think, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I go with the Canon 16 to 35 mil or should I go with the Sigma 20 mil? uh 1.4 you know uh they're two different lenses they uh not even in the same category because one the sigma lens is a fixed prime lens right it's fixed at that uh you know that uh what do you call that at that focal length geez which is 20 millimeter, right? And then you have the 16 to 35. You had that focal range from 16 to 35. You can actually zoom in. So it, it's kind of like a little uh, telephoto lens. Uh, not really telephoto, but I say half tele, you know, you know what I'm saying, a hybrid. I think we are done here, guys. Thank you for watching. Please, please, in the description down below, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about the lens, uh, I'll leave the links to both lenses so you can read up on them and you know see the specs. I'll also see if I put some of those specs here on the screens, you know, some graphic design, some graphic artistico, all right? And see if you guys uh, help me out with this one. The price range, it's, it's deep, it's deep. Okay, so one, I think the, the you know, the, the Canon is going for, I think 1500, something like that, if not more, 16, okay? This one, the Sigma, I think is way less. I think it's in the eight, 800, between the eight and nine range, uh, which is a little bit more doable. But either way, I need a, a new lens. I need to get a lens to do headshots, you know, to do these types of videos with you guys, okay? You know what to do. Downstairs, description area. Leave your comments and let me know what you think because I want to buy this lens as soon as possible. I need a new lens, guys. I can't continue shooting with my 24 to 70 because it's burnt out. It's time for a switch and this is it. This is the time. All right. Until the next time, catch you guys on the flip side.